so many hours of training as Wang and Benny get ready to go in this one Red up Benny well he's the man in red Wang Hairu trying with all his might there in the clinch Wang steps back tries with a chop kick good punch from the Moroccan straight away there Red up Benny not wasting any time at all good punch as well Well, Benet doesn't look as if he's waiting for too many spaces, just trying to force an option, disregarding his opponent Wang at the moment. And there's the power punch, that's great timing. You land a punch like that after 15 seconds, that takes some doing. That shows patience and calmness in the danger distance. And Rene Bidet goes again with the headshot being Impressive stuff from him at the start. Wang Hairu, hard times for him. Takes a sore one to the shin. But will take a two point lead for Morocco. Ju Ding Huang. And Elias Busov. Oh, good stuff from Ju. It's the gam joint. He's been a bit more confident using one, trying to come forward again. Punch for Morocco registers, 3 1. That's for the bronze. Nice body shot on the way through from Ju. Pusov trying to change stance, flicks up to the face, not far away, punching the way through, well, not that much power on it, well, from the commentary position of course, but enough to catch the judges' eyes. 4-3 at the end of that one. Ashraf Mohabi against Wang Zhen. Wang Zhen, the taller of the two, can he use that lever length? Extend the lead. <laughs> nice push kick to the body. Doubles the scores on the board. 63 for China. And Zhang's made a difference has that physicality and he's using it and Ashraf Mahobi one of the strongest Moroccan fighters he's having a, a hard time here well, five seconds is the shout from the Moroccan coach but it's going to be three points of a difference. Akshraf Mahubi. Working away here. Wukai, well, a bit of Muay Thai from both there. A big throw. Not too much big scoring, 63. Oh, good punch there. Well, that, for my money, that should have scored. But my money doesn't go too far these days. 30 seconds. Back leg turn and kick gets close, and we are close to the end of the opening period. Of which it's going to finish up six points to three. 
Now that Ramirez separates them, although Gamjom given. So after China and Morocco, it be a tasty one, Kazakhstan and Iran. They'll go for bronze as well. And then we're up into the mixed gender groupings, bronze medal matches between Korea. That will be Wu Kai and Ashraf Mahubi. Well, Mahubi showing his quality straight away. This is the time for Morocco to get himself back on the board. Good punch there from Mahubi. Well, obviously your arms are shorter than your legs, so it takes that bit of bravery to score. Nice little flick to the body around the corner though from Wukai. And he counters nicely. Lisa Vecchi seeing some holding on the inside. China holding on to this lead at the moment. Four points of a difference. And that punch just a little bit wayward. Wukai leaves a space again, and it has been a tale of punches that have punctuated these contests. Decent adaptation there from Akraf Mahubi. Thought, pretended to throw the punch, went with a head kick, but well, Wukai saw it coming. Didn't see that one though. Almost gets caught out. Time for a change. Elias Busov will go against Zhu Ding Huang. Zhu with a front leg hook kick. He's got that flexibility in his locker. One of the most impressive efforts off the mat there. A youngster just trying to get a, a cheer going in the crowd. I think it was only his friends and family that joined in. Not too much to cheer about just yet. This one finally balanced for Team China. And that's good times for Ilyas Busov. Needs to try and find an answer. Back leg turn and kick batters home. Well blocked though. Well, a minute and ten to go in the second. Halfway through. No real power on that punch. Well, Ashraf Mahubi and Wang Jin. Excuse me, Ayo Basel has come on. Last 30 seconds in this second round. Just a little bit of signs of tiredness from both teams here. Of course, fought a lot yesterday. Maybe not quite as fresh. And they'll need to get the adrenaline flowing to summon up the last bits of energy as we move towards the business end of this bronze medal contest. Halfway through it now. Finally poised. Headshot just missing there. Can Basel find a score? Can Wang Zhen close the door? He does. That's a nice one. Gam Jong given. Gives the crowd something to cheer about. Four points of a lead now for China. And a minute to think about it. Pretty obvious there from David Seiko. Needing a little bit more intensity from his team. And as you guys will know, it really is all about measuring that distance, getting in close enough to kick at that optimal power to get the scores on the board and Morocco they've got it right with the punches but they've just been a little bit short of distance when it comes to the kicks but can they rectify that that of course is down to the good footwork from the chain
And it's Zhu and Busov. Busov on the front foot, trying to push forward. Zhu doing well to make a miss. Busov battling. Zhu shifting around, good change of stance. Tries to find a little space for the back leg turning kick, but to no avail at the moment. 11-7 here in the penultimate round. Oh, back kick there wasn't far away, neither was the head kick. Well, was that body shot scored after Calio? For my money, it was. Wonder if a Russian referee Pavel Posaya saw that. Well, it looked as if there was Calio, then a kick. I would agree with the Moroccan team there. Hard to keep your eye on everything. Headshot though, keeping his eyes on the prize as both men trade the head kicks. Well, where does this come from? They've decided to throw caution to the wind here. Well, David Seco asked for more intensity from his team during the break, and they've certainly brought it. But bringing and meeting fire with fire is the Chinese team. Well, that'll help as well. 21-10. Ayub Basel, good punch on the way through there, that one scores. And Wang Zhen, the Chinese man in the middle, ah, he's done well. He sees these punches coming, picks up that little front leg and counters cleanly. Above coaching as well there in the background. Zhu Ding Wang, the Chinese athlete, cheating on his teammate, good to see. Better for Morocco. Wu Kai on the move. Basel with the punch again. Ashraf Mahoubi fancies his chances. Ah, nice punch. 23-16. You guys know when you're deep into the third round and still trying to find your distance, that's usually a sign that the opponent's just quite got your number, just seeing it coming, anticipating it. But good anticipation with that counter punch there. So Morocco need a head kick and they need it fast. Well, I say fast, there's still a lot of time, but just the chance to make the Chinese team think about it. As Elias Busaf We'll try and do just that. Back leg turn and kick, blast home. Does well to keep his feet there. Great balance. That was a gam jump for my money. Looked like a grab of the leg. Excellent refereeing. I have to say there, Pavel Pasia saw that one perfectly. Headshot given for holding. Sorry, gam jump given for holding. David Seco is looking for. Well, they wanted that head kick invalidated. Back kick round the corner. Well, signs now that Morocco are beginning to get into it. Elias Busaf goes for it again. Steps out though, and will take the gam jump for evading 28-20. Ayub Basel. Here he comes. Can he do something? Zhu Ding Huang, his timing has been good, his footwork has been better. Well, the doorbell rings, and somebody's at the door, making his entrance Wang Zhen. And shows up with a present, presented his chest there. Back leg, or the backhand punch, I should say, scored nicely. Seven points of a difference. All in favour of China at the moment. The Moroccans, though, coming back into a couple of body shots shared. Oh, there's a punch, has to score, for sure it does. 
This is the closest Morocco have been in a while. A minute to go in the third. Six points of a gap. There's some tiredness there. <laughs> Does well to get a little rest. Ashraf Mahobi, fresh legs, back leg lands clean. Well, this one, you still feel there's a few twists and turns to be taken. Punch lands. And we're back to five with 35 in the third. Zhu Dinghuang back in again. Shuffling around. He's got a busy style, he makes you think about him. Which kills the clock a little bit. Oh, nice footwork, pretended to go, drew out the back kick and left him hanging. And Elias Busaf. As I said, it's the kicks that you miss that tire you out the most. Excellent stuff there, impressed Zhu Ding Wang. Did a good shift for his team there, didn't want to, can still get it done. But you do feel that China have just got that little bit left. They can go to an extra gear if they need to. Bussell, can he do something for the Moroccans here? Wu Kai will be hoping not. Tries for a good head kick there. The Chinese fighter follows it up with a body shot. And he looks fresh, Wu Kai. Which is why it's a quick change as Ashraf Mahoubi comes in. business end of the competition this for the first bronze medal of the World Cup team championships 54 to 27 good back leg turning kick they're almost sneaking in under the guard for Mahobi yeah good refereeing there saw that on the blind side Adam Awahi just two gam jumps given there. A little bit excessive, perhaps. Changing the balance of the match, 36 28. of time big punch on the way through there body kick as well 38 to 29 so lots of time for either team to seal this bronze medal well, Wang Zhen giving it all he's got on the way through here Ayub Basel breathing heavily under pressure well, of course, there is the time zone to deal with, different climate, food, lots of things to try and adjust to for all the teams. But, of course, the home nation, well, they have that little bit of an advantage. And that can help down the stretch here as they look the fresher, they look the stronger. 
It's Ilya Busaf. Well, he does his best to come forward. Credit to him. Hits the deck. Yep, good spot from the ref. Gam Jum given. Dancing feet of Zhu Ding Huang. Trying to put on some pressure here, a little dance. Has his own style. The bell rings, the flags are up. But the game is not up yet for Morocco. They still have time. Ashraf Mahoubi, arguably their strongest fighter so far. Great head kick there, that will help nicely. Six points of a gap. Well, they're bringing on the big guns now. Wang Zhen back in again. Change of stance is the advice from the Moroccan coach. Julie obliges. And it will be a change of player as well. Ayub Basel. Well, Morocco still in this. A couple of minutes to go. Six points of a gap. Wukai getting ready in the background to come on, but it is Wang Zhen working away. And you get the feeling that Ayub Basel needs to come forward, get some pressure on, get some points on the board. Back leg turn and kick. Well, a stamp there on the way through just to stamp his authority. Impressed with that, good refereeing, saw the grab and the pull. And that pulls it back to a five-point game. Well, the crowd know how close this one is. As it's another change. Ashraf Mahoubi, what can he find? Looks for the head kick, almost getting it. Getting his chance to come in will be Zhu Ding Huang. Not much to separate them. Body kick scores. Nice from Zhu. He's been one of their standout performers. Head kick as well from Zhu. That's excellent. Just when they needed it. And his little staccato style of dance. Well, it's been a dance of delight so far. Big run and a jump across. Head kick was excellent there. Well, a fight has broken out in Wuxi, and the crowd are loving it. 44-37. Ilyas Pusaf, can he repeat the feat? And the front leg hook to the face there. Well, he's certainly enjoying himself, Zhu Ding Wang. Coach quite happy to leave him up there. He's made it into a 10-point lead. Take a little rest. And can Wang Zhen close the score here? Body shot from China. Well, that's going to make a big difference here in this bronze medal battle. Morocco have been involved. But China have been dominant. Last chance saloon now. Ayub Basel trying to go for it. Throwing his legs, throwing caution to the wind. But with a fair wind... And some fair shots as well. 54 points on the board for China. And that points to one thing. Bronze for the team in blue. $5,000 to boot. And they've got a lot to thank Zhu Ding Wang for there. Athlete number two for me was their number one. Scored the shots when he needed it. I'm sure David Seiko can be very proud of his team. They ran it close. The Moroccans with great credit. But China with the bronze. A couple of teams in the final. Well, China will go from being teammates to rivals. And that one's just a little bit later on. Up next, though, Kazakhstan and Iran will complete the men's bronze medal contests.